Everybody's running for something, and they all say they're going to be elected. Reckon if they do, we'd have plenty of them. Yeah, they say that Saul Reisner's going to be the sheriff, sure. Well, I can't say that Saul would be so good for the peace of the country, but it'll be a picnic for us boys if he's elected. Here comes Saul now. Yeah, and boys, be careful how you talk. Of course, here comes the preacher down to the courthouse. Hello, boys. Howdy, Saul. Hello, Hello Sheriff. Sheriff. That's right. Sheriff Sweat'll be up to the polls close. Well, there's some other fellas are thinking the same thing. Howdy, gentlemen. Howdy, Howdy preacher. Howdy, preacher. Well, I reckon you're all voting for the right man today. Yeah, yes. I guess so. We're going to try. Right, doing the best we can. And I reckon you know who the right man for Sheriff is, don't you, preacher? You've got to have a man who'll uphold the laws. Yes, I'm voting for any man who supports our laws, especially the prohibition law. Well, you know I've always been a teetotaler, preacher. Of course. I don't know, but I suppose you have. Yes, Saul's always done his best to put down whiskey. Yeah, ever bit he could get. Well, goodbye, boys. I hope the right man wins. So do we, preacher. So do we. Say, boys, I believe the preacher's going to vote for me. He might if he didn't find out before he gets to the poll. <laughs> <laughs> How about playing us a little tune before we go, Saul? I'll get my old fiddle for you right now. All right. Hurry up. Getting late. All right, Sheriff. Here's the fiddle. Give us the best you got. Good fiddling will elect a man almost quick as good liquor. And I brought my old banjo along to help you out. Now, key of D. <laughs> Say, boys, let's go and leave Bailey's old storehouse where we can have a little more freedom. I've got a pint for us. Steve, ain't you coming along? No, I never drink in small amounts. Well, come on, Steve. I've got a quart of moan. I take that for my part. Shut the door. Here, take one, Al. Thanks, Saul. Looks good. <clears throat> You're next, Phil. Much please. Hold well, on there, Phil. The sheriff's got to have a drink. Gosh, I come near breaking the neck of that bottle off trying to pull it loose from my mouth. Steve, have a drink on me. No, I just try that quart of Phil's. When I start, I got to fill up, and I don't want to swallow no empty bottles. Liquor, boy, fine liquor. <coughs> now, boys, sit down. Let's have a Charles Star Navy. I'll take long green for my part. Boys, let's have a spitting match. I'll bet a dime I can hit that knot hole over there in the wall. What do you say, Saul? I bet a dime you can't, Phil. Don't go too heavy, Sheriff. Phil's one of the spittingest men in this country. Well, I'll risk a dime he can't. All right, 
Better that knot hole, Phil. Well, darn my socks, Phil. I'll never bet on you again. Bet you a dime I can beat that, boys. All right, Saul. If you do, we'll vote for you. Look out, then, boys. If it don't spatter, you'll know I shot square through. Yes, or didn't spit to it. Well, Saul, I guess we'll have to vote for you anyway. Say, let's give Steve a try. He ought to have plenty of ambeer worked up by this time. I couldn't spit over my whiskers now, but when I was in my prime, I spit a hundred feet one time. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> go on. Tell one that we can believe. Yeah, sure did. Where was you, Steve? On High Bridge, down across Kentucky River, spit square into the river. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys, guess we better be going down Union County to vote. Going down Union County, going down to Union County, going down to Union County for the vote this election day. And I know they'll be waiting, I know they'll be waiting. The candidates will be waiting for our vote this election day.